This is why I didn't do on screen on my Instagram. Oh, I can do this. Thank you everyone for all your messages to make sure that I'm okay. The devastation from this wildfire is gut-wrenching. My heart breaks for all the families that only had minutes to evacuate from their homes and leave everything behind and lose all of their belongings. Some of them losing family members in the fire, people losing everything they owned except the clothes on their back. It's just overwhelming. So in case you don't know, but you probably already know, Lahaina, a part of the island of Maui, had gale force winds on Tuesday morning, all Tuesday morning, caused by Hurricane Dora traveling south of the Hawaiian Islands. The entire area lost power as power lines went down and fire ignited and shortly after it rapidly spread from the huge force of winds. 1,700 buildings were destroyed, thousands of acres burned, hundreds of families have been displaced from their homes and as of today I think it's 80 people confirmed dead but many people based on the people I'm speaking to who have spoken to police officers or people who have gone in there which is actually very hard to get in and help um, say hundreds have actually passed away and completely burned down homes, churches, an elementary school and all of the historic line of Front Street. We've been off island for over a month now visiting family on the mainland so we have not currently been on the island during this disaster. Our home is okay and not in the range of where the fires have been but some of our friends' homes have been completely destroyed. Others are spending their days helping in any way they can, donating supplies, rushing around the island, trying to bring people things that they need and find places for people to stay who have been displaced, opening up their homes. And we're looking forward to getting back um, shortly so that we can join them. The footage of the destruction is hard to look at. Lahaina has a special place in our heart from over a decade of beautiful memories, raising our babies on these warm shores. And seeing the massive loss of people's homes and livelihoods is just devastating. If you live afar and would like to help, you can donate to the reputable Hawaii Community Foundation designated for the Maui Strong Fund, which goes towards financial aid and services and goods and supplies, things like that to help people who have been displaced. And through the 15th, Andrew and I will be donating 100% of our ebook sales to that same fund. So if you haven't got my ebook yet and you have been wanting it, then please go get one, one or all of my ebooks. And all of that money will be going towards the Hawaii Community Foundation designated for the Maui Strong Fund. But in addition to that, it's actually helpful to bring money directly to the people who have lost their homes and have been displaced. There are a whole bunch of people displaced without power, unable to really get in and out very easily. Some people having a really hard time with that and then the people who have been displaced are, some of them are stuck there. It's all just a mess. It's just heartbreaking, honestly. So um, one of my friends, Tatiana, her home was completely destroyed in the fire with her that she lived with her dad and her tutu, which is her grandma, and also her mom um, as well. And that home was built by her great-grandfather. Generations of memories in that home. And I just, my heart breaks for her. Um, the fire had started above, right above her neighborhood, and she only had minutes to evacuate because the electrical wires had caused the cell service to go down, so people didn't have access to hearing any kind of emergency alert to get out from a fire. And so it was too late for a lot of people by the time they realized they needed to evacuate. And having so many people trying to get out through a road with their car is what caused so much devastation because there wasn't enough time and because of the huge force winds causing the fire to spread so rapidly and the incompetence of what seemed to be ha seemed to be miscommunication or I don't know what because there were actually fires on multiple parts of the island. Some people lost their homes in Kula as well. So the fire had been 100% contained in the morning and so firefighters left to go to another fire and so there really was not anybody there to help in case some kind of fire ignited again. And so by the time that it did reignite with such huge force winds, it caused such a rapid spread without help and that's why so many people um, lost their homes and people died in the fires in their cars trying to get their families out. There were people who had to just park their car and run to the ocean trying to survive for hours before they were able to receive help. It's all just so insane, the mess that happened. and. Yeah, anyway, so if you'd like to donate to my friend Tatiana, we've been friends for six years. She teaches Hawaiian classes at our church and uses her gifts with singing. 
um, with worship and she's a wonderful human and I just feel so much for her whole family and what they're going through. So if you'd like to support and help her, I'll put the GoFundMe that me and my friend Josefa created for her um, in the link in my bio. And I also have other friends as well, um, one of them who's currently staying in our home and another family who is my good friend's friend. All of these people are people that I know or are my close friend's friend. So. I normally don't share GoFundMe's like that because I know that in, it's unfortunate that in crises like this, sometimes people take advantage, but or just in any kind of thing with GoFundMe. That's why I just normally don't share GoFundMe's, but the reason why I feel confident to share them now is because these are people I directly know or my really closest friends' friends. So a close friend, Ryan, you might know Chelsea.g on Instagram. She's one of my best friends, one of my closest friends that we've had since we have lived on the island. It was actually 12 years ago when I was pregnant with my first child, Elvis, that we came to visit our friends Chelsea and Ryan, who lived in Lahaina, and that's where we fell in love with Maui, was by visiting them in Lahaina town. Um, so we've been friends for a super long time. She's just one of my closest friends, and their good friend has five kids, a wife, and they barely made it out, and they lost everything they owned, except for the clothes on their backs, and um, they also lost the father's mom, dad, sister, and little seven-year-old nephew in the fire who was in the car behind them but wasn't able to get out. And I'll put their GoFundMe in as well. And I just feel so much for them. So many people are displaced, living in tents, trying to find places to live with no money. A lot of these people did live paycheck to paycheck. So um, to lose your home and everything you owned, I mean, and some people losing loved ones, I just... It just hits so close to home because this is our home and we know so many people who have been affected. There's, I mean, there's also more. There's so many because we have such a wide network of a community who all know people and it's just really devastating. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you know in case you wanted us to support and help in any way, I gave you guys a few different options. And please pray for Maui. <laughs> about me um, my family is okay my home is okay and we're just helping in any way that we can I'm looking forward to getting back to the island thank you for being here and there's probably more to say I mean I might share just a couple other clips here for anything I'm missing that I'm not mentioning because it's kind of just hard to be 100% <laughs>